Cambridge Pavers offers a 24 inch by 24 inch by 2 inch thick roof deck paver for rooftop and plaza applications. The Cambridge rooftop paver is a dry cast slab that can be used in all climates as part of a roofing and waterproofing system. Applications include universities, office buildings, hotels, condominiums, as well as residential homes. One of the keys to the installation is the screw jack pedestal. This system allows for construction of a level surface over slope to drain waterproofed areas. The screw jack pedestal can accommodate height ranges of less than two inches to over three feet. The versatility of the system allows for many design options. In addition to this, the pedestal can compensate for slope issues by adjusting in half degree increments all the way up for a total correction of five degrees. The pedestals are made up of recycled polypropylene materials that are resistant to freeze thaw cycles. Depending on their height, they are designed to handle loads of 1,400 to 2,200 pounds. You can achieve precise elevations by simply turning the pedestal base. Integrated tabs allow for drainage and uniform spacing of the installed pavers. The benefit of a pedestal paving system is it allows you to provide a waterproof roofing membrane and necessary drainage while simultaneously providing the space for all the utilities to be run under the pavement surface. Another benefit of this system is that they are loose laid products that can easily be removed and reinstalled for any maintenance of the roof deck that may be necessary. There are three basic steps when planning and installing a pedestal deck system. Planning the paver deck, establishing the paver deck layout, and pedestal and paver installation and slope compensation. Planning the paver deck. The contractor must first determine with the building owner the finished height of the paver deck. This is usually done by working off existing thresholds around the plaza deck, such as entryways onto the plaza deck. This will be the shortest pedestal height as the roof will be sloped to a drain unit. The height of the pedestal at the drain will be the tallest pedestal height. A laser level or other methods can determine total fall from point to point. Take measurements from other finished height spots on the deck as well. Subtract the paver thickness, in this case two inches from the height of the finished paver surface and this will give us the needed pedestal size. To determine the number of pavers needed, take exact measurements of the length and width of the paver deck. Take the measurement of our paver, in this case 24 inches and add the spacer tab of the pedestal to achieve an overall on center measurement. Our pedestal tab is 3 16th of an inch, so our overall dimension is 24 and 3 16th inches. From here we can lay out our paver job. We will have full units throughout the field with our cut units evenly spaced around the exterior. This will give our installation a nice uniform look. On our roofing substrate, snap a chalk line that represents our first full line of pavers, not the cut pieces on our perimeter. This is our starting point. Lay the pedestals and adjust them to be level with our chalk line we snapped on our perimeter wall. With our center lines established, lay out our first row of pavers and pedestals. We should have equal distances from our full pieces to our walls on either side. Using a square or three, four, five triangle method, start coming perpendicular to our first installed row. Make sure to follow our finished paver height. We will be adjusting our pedestals to compensate for the pitch to our roof drain. Our pedestals have the ability to compensate in half degree increments up to five degrees, which will allow us to compensate for our pitch to drain. For our cut pavers, we will install pedestals and remove two of the tabs. On the units in the corner, we will remove all tabs and use an adhesive to ensure no movement. 
After our installation is complete, we can make any micro adjustments by using a tool to increase or decrease the height of our pedestal to achieve a level surface. Rooftop and pavilion applications are a very profitable part of the hardscape industry. Cambridge and Buzon have the ability to provide you with the quality products and engineering to successfully complete these jobs. One additional point for consideration is uplift. This is a condition where high wind situations can cause the pavers to fly off the pedestal. Buzon has field proven installation methods to withstand wind speeds of 185 miles per hour. You can expect that this will be adopted as standard code in the future. To learn more about our products, go to cambridgepavers.com and to see more videos like this one, visit our YouTube channel.